Saving and loading complex data types in C Sharp is easy. You just need to serialize it using the binary formatter class. Well, at least that's how it used to be. Binary formatter was the preferred .NET class for serialization, but it isn't any longer. I'll have more to say about that shortly, but first, let me explain what serialization is. Serialization describes the process of saving an object's data as a linear sequence or stream of bytes. This stream of bytes can then be written to your hard disk. Later on, you can read in those bytes and deserialize them to reconstruct the objects that you previously serialized. Now, my adventure game, which I've explained in other lessons, is a prime candidate for serialization. It has quite a complex network of objects, a map containing rooms, rooms containing treasures, and so on. Now, using binary formatter, I was able to serialize all that data just by serializing the top level object. That's the game itself. Now, that automatically serializes all the other objects in the game, the map, the rooms, the treasures, and so on. To do this kind of serialization, all the classes had to be marked in my code with the serializable attribute. That is, just above the class definition, I have to put the word serializable between square brackets, like this. Now, to serialize my game, all I do is create a binary formatter object, then call the serialize method and pass to it two arguments, a stream and an object to serialize. Here the stream is a disk file and my object is the adventure game, and deserializing is also simple to do. If you want to understand that in more detail, I explain it in my book on adventure game programming. However, if you try to do this kind of serialization in the latest version of .NET, and here I'm compiling for .NET 8, well, you'll run into a problem. Okay, so it wants me to use JSON serialization instead of binary formatter. Now, surely that must be a simple enough fix. So let me see, I've logged on to the Microsoft help site and this is information on JSON serialize with some nice simple examples. Well, it all looks straightforward. So all I have to do, it seems, is to rewrite my save and load code. So this, if I load this up, this is my first attempt. So I've just commented out my old binary formatting code and added something that I think looks similar to what, um, what the Microsoft sample code is showing. Well, to cut a long story short, it didn't work. My code ran and it saved a whole load of data and I can show you the file. So this is JSON format data. It saved all this, but when I reloaded it, it didn't correctly work. But when I try to deserialize that data, it does not correctly recreate all my objects. So to put it simply, if I take a treasure, save the file, and then later on reload the data, the treasure I took doesn't stay taken. So the objects are not correctly reconstructed. Now, when C Sharp warned me that binary formatter was deprecated and I should use JSON instead, I was expecting to be able to rewrite my code and get it all to work in a matter of minutes. I couldn't have been more wrong. It took me hours to get it to work. It turns out that the JSON serialization routines in .NET make it pretty simple to store, well, simple data types, integers and strings and so on. It's not quite so easy to store complex data structures like my network of rooms and treasures with some treasures inside other treasures and those treasures inside rooms and so on and so forth. Now, I'll take you through all the steps I had to go through to get JSON serialization working in my game in future videos. But before doing that, you might ask yourself, well, is it really worth the effort? The obvious answer is yes, it is. Why? Because Microsoft says it is. Microsoft has decided there are security issues with binary formatter and that JSON is more secure. But do security issues matter to my adventure game? But to be honest, no, I don't think they do. So in this video, I'm going to show you a quick and dirty fix that just lets you carry on using binary formatter with the latest version of .NET. Now, before I show you the fix, let me quickly show you the code that I wrote to implement the 
binary formatter version of serialization, you can see it's really, really simple. All it really does is it creates a file stream and a binary formatter object, and then it calls serialize on the file stream, passing to it the top level object, that's the complete adventure game, and then it goes away and it does everything for me. I don't have to worry at all about all the saving, and when I load it, it's just a simple file stream binary formatter, cast it to the correct type, here it's an adventure, and call deserialize. So that is all my code, really, really simple. And now, in order to be able to use this code with the latest version of .NET to get rid of these um, warnings that you can see all these errors that it's commenting down here, I need to enter a special pragma, that's a, an instruction to the compiler, and I'm putting it in the game runner class, which contains the data reading and writing routines. Let me just copy and paste this to save time. I'm just going to put it right up here. And that is all I need to do to satisfy the compiler. Now, when I compile and run it, the errors go away, and my program is once again ready to use the binary format version of deserialization. So I've now compiled and run this game, the error's gone away, and I should now be able to serialize the entire state to save and load the game, all the game data, all the objects in the game to and from disk. Let's try it out. Uh, where am I? I'm in... I'm in Gore Street, so there's a sack here. Let's take that. Take sack. Um, now I move south. I'm in the dead end. Okay, so I'm going to save here. Remember, I've got the sack, and I'm in the dead end. So let me save. Uh, game one. Well, i just call it game one, yes. And so it says it's saved. Now let me drop the sack. Okay, so I had the sack. I no longer have it. And I'll go east into Opium Terrace. Let me load the game. Game one. Oops, game one. Okay, so I should have the sack. Let's have a look if I have. Yep, I have it. And where am I? I should be in, I think, Dead End. And yes, I'm back in the Dead End. So the serialization is now working. The inventory, my position, all the different objects and the states of the objects have been saved, serialized, and deserialized. And that is quite simply how serialization should work. But this solution using binary formatter avoids grappling with the problems of implementing JSON serialization. And even though JSON is more complicated than binary formatter, I suppose, well, you may need to use it at some time. So if you want to know how to do that, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you'll be notified when I upload the next lesson in which I'll explain the mysteries of JSON serialization. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll be back with more quite soon.